So everyone always asks me uh, to hear about like the horror stories of Airbnb. And in all honesty, like I would genuinely be friends with everyone that I've either hosted in my home or had as a guest and stuff like that. But all right, I've been a host since 2018. So like you're gonna get some rough ones every once in a while. Um, one time I had a guest um, at one of my properties and he was super kind, really nice, like very gentlemanly. Um, but he, um, came home one night and he was like, I cleaned your garage for you. And I was like, thank you. But that's a little bit like, also like I'm not paying you to do that. So like you just paid me to stay here and also clean my house. So thank or my garage. So thank you. Um, I don't think he stole anything from me, but I did have a hard time like finding, um, like roundup and like some of my tools and stuff like that later i think i have eventually found them but it was just like i don't really know where they're at all the time um and then i have definitely definitely earned my stripes uh re like with um just like the headaches that you're so worried about when people say airbnb is like um oh my gosh parties um <laughs> so i have an airbnb that i sublease from a landlord so i i rent it from him and then i i furnished it and i re-rent it back out and um literally like a month into owning this property and mind you like i was pretty new to this and i was just like okay i think i'm doing it right like kind of nervous about everything and uh, a month in i get a get a call from a detective of the city and was like hey um you know, are you the person at this, this, and this address? And I was like, I mean, yeah, kinda. And he's like, okay, well, last night we, um, we arrested, like, six people out of your house. You had a 70 person party there, and this, this, and this happened. And I was like, what? Like, I thought I had these nice, timid travel nurses staying there, and they throw a, like, a ranger? Like, are you kidding me? Um, turns out he just got the wrong address, so. <laughs> crisis avoided but um yeah i was i was really panicked that day um there are ways to mitigate that you can get um noise sensors uh like decibel monitors it doesn't record what they say i don't really want to hear their whole conversation all day anyways um but it uh it monitors the decibels in um the room and so like if it gets really loud because there's like 70 people there it'll send you a notification and then you can check your cameras send a police over there for a noise ordinance and then break up the party kind of thing so um it uh there are ways to mitigate it but that was i guess that's my worst experience with parties um yeah recently recently we did have someone break into one of our airbnbs and like threw everything on the ground and um yeah crawled into our nice beds and stripped down naked and my assistant went over to the property to like make sure that it was ready and just prep for things later that week and she's like oh i think someone broke in here and then she like found him in there still and like he like sang really i don't know he was high on something and just like it was it was a whole thing it was a whole thing so um the police came and arrested him and um yeah he never found his pants so he got a complimentary blanket from our airbnb but um yeah that that was um i think that one was the worst that one was really scary of just like are you kidding me so um those are probably the the worst horror stories that i have of airbnb and out of however many years since 2018 hosting for that many years if that's the worst that i have i'd say i got a really good uh, return on my time. So Airbnbs do have some risk. That's why they have such a high reward, but I promise you it's worth it. And there are ways to, uh, to mitigate that risk. So they're kind of fun to tell the stories now in the time that it happens. Not so much. I kind of panic, but um, there will always be something new next week for me to worry about. Sometimes it comes a little faster than I uh, like it to, but all in all, I love hosting Airbnbs. They make for great people to meet. Um, and then uh, you get good stories like this to tell. So I promise Airbnb um, isn't all the horror stories that you hear sometimes.